okay off camera now I've just done the other side and you can see the, 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 the result here this is all cleared up the, the nice straight line in the lateral jowl here likewise you've got a nice straight line here and this marionette line is almost completely cleared up and faded away okay now we're going to sort of focus on the upper lip now Nadine's had her lip done many times and her lips quite well preserved with all this dermal fill, particularly hyaluronic acid. They last from six months to seven months and then suddenly they start fading away. And we get to this point whereby they will start sort of fading away and she just wants a top up of her uh, filler to keep preserve the, uh, the shape of her lips which she quite likes. So uh, as you can see our, our whole purpose is to make sure the cupid, the bow and the philtrum uh, nicely maintained, the pillars are nice and the vermilion border, the edges maintained to give the shape which she has. Uh, I'm going to use Juvederm today which is a nice soft filler, very important that Hanum Gasset uh, are used here, uh, the softer fillers because this is an area which you know, if the lumpiness just doesn't work. Um, she's numbed up, she's had her infraorbital blocks so or her upper lip is completely numb uh, and, we'll, and I'll just demonstrate how to do this. And, it's a really, really straightforward filler. You note the vermilion line here, which is along here, and it's an anti-grade injection. As I in just insert my needle into the into the lip area, okay, let's kind of grab this. There we go, and a very, very small amount of sort of filler needs to go in there. It bleeds a little bit, but that bleeding will stop pretty quickly. The lip is a very vascular area, as you know. And I'm just doing that, and then in the corner there, there's a K-shaped fill of the corner here, just to fill the bottom lip, so we need to maintain a nice sort of angle there with full support on the sides. And you can see just a little up here, nicely delineated sort of vermilion border. And then the pillar there, there's many ways of filling this up, and I usually grab it put a small amount of filler, just a very small volume, and you can see it nicely sort of sticks out on there. Okay, 